Good morning, my dear students. This is the second video of Chapter Seven, Class Five, Social Studies. So, in the first video, we learned about temperate grasslands. That means the major, the important five temperate grasslands that is in the situating in the northern and southern hemisphere that we learned. and the major difference between the northern and southern hemisphere grasslands that also we learned and then the climate the climate of the temperate grasslands both the northern and the southern hemisphere climate that we learned in the first video so today we will learn about the plant life and animal life in the temperate grasslands okay so today for the first we are going to learn about the plant life of temperate grasslands so normally uh, already we learned that uh, very hardly we can see trees in the grasslands temperate grasslands so it is covered with wild grass that are known as grasslands so only we can see trees where there is rainfall in the temperate grasslands okay there only we can see very hardly very few trees we can see in the temperate that means north temperate and south temperate grasslands otherwise Uh, temperate grasslands are treeless that we can say and then uh, how we can see these trees so normally the main uh, agriculture is the main activity in the temperate grasslands so the farmers are planting these trees near their wheat farms so that is why we can see trees in the temperate grasslands and then in the northern and the southern temperate grasslands we can see it is entirely different the grasslands are entirely different from others so every grassland is different from others so and uh, here mainly in the northern hemisphere grasslands the prairies prairies we can see that the grasses are tall okay uh, comparing to the other grasslands in the prairies the grasses are tall why because they are getting rainfall okay sufficient rainfall they are getting that is why the grasses are tall but in the steppers okay in the steppers we can see the, but in the steppers we can see that there short grasses are there because due to the uh, little rainfall due to the continental uh, type of climate they are getting very less amount of rainfall that is why their grasses are short in the prairies we can see tall grasses we can see because they are getting sufficient rainfall and in steppers we can say that short grasses are there due to the less rainfall okay and then one more important thing is that the appearance of these grasslands are changing from season to season that means appearance means looking that looking of that grasslands appearance that is changing uh, from season to season okay how it is changing that is here in spring season we can see that the temperate grasslands are fresh and green fully it will be green and the grasses are very fresh in the spring season and in summer we can see that it will become brown brown in color that grasses and in autumn okay it will come very dry and then finally in winter it dies okay so in the spring season we can see the grasses will be very fresh and green but in summer it turns brown and then autumn it is very dry and then finally in winter it dies but the roots are there the roots will remain there again in the spring season it will grow okay that is the appearance normally in the appearance of the temperate grasslands okay in the spring season grasses will be fresh and green and in summer it turns brown brown color and in autumn it turns dry finally in winter season it will but the roots will be there the roots will remain there and again in the spring season it will grow and one more thing is that one of the most common grass that we can see in the temperate grasslands the name of that gra grass is alfalfa okay the name of that grass is alfalfa that is the most common one of the most common grass that we can see in the temperate grasslands mainly uh, it is uh it is for two cattle and then because uh, it will grow very quickly that one of the most uh, one special thing about that grass is it grows very quickly so alfalfa the name of that grass is alfalfa that the one of the most common grass that we can see in the temperate grassland that is alfalfa 
so that is this much only about the plant life in the north and south temperate grasslands so now we are going to learn about the animal life in the uh, temperate grasslands okay what kind of animals we can see in the temperate grasslands mainly in northern and southern temperate grasslands so here we can see in the northern hemisphere grasslands some of the uh, large animals we can see in the northern uh, temperate grasslands like bisons and uh, grizzly bears wolves uh, that kind of dangerous animals we can see in the north temperate grasslands so in the southern hemisphere grasslands south temperate grasslands also we can see llamas and uh, anacondas and then uh, kangaroos mainly australia is the home to kangaroos that we all know and then wallabies koalas and these kind of animals we can see in the southern southern south temperate grasslands and many migratory birds we can see in both of the grasslands north and south temperate grasslands and then wild animals wild horses that we can see deer these kind of animals also we can see in the uh, south and north temperate grasslands and uh, some kind of small animals okay like uh, squirrels and then hedgehog these kind of hibernate animals hibernate means hibernation means it is given there in your textbook okay sleep through instead of hunting food uh, in winter that means uh, hibernation means in that winter time winter seasons like you can say that these kind of animals will sleep uh, from 20 to 22 hours in a day per day so that is known as hibernation so that kind of small animals like uh, hedgehogs and squirrels these kind of animals also we can see in the temperate grasslands okay so here we have to learn all these names what kind of animals we can see in the north temperate and south temperate grasslands okay northern hemisphere grasslands that we can see bisons this may be bears and the bulls and uh, wild horses these kind of animals we can see and the southern hemisphere grasslands llamas anacondas and then kangaroos wallabies and then uh, squirrels uh, hedgehogs these kind of hibernate animals also we can see in the north and south temperate grasslands so that is about the animal life that we can see in the temperate grasslands so these two topics it is very easy to learn please read your textbook that is enough okay so children we will meet in the next video thank you